They made us think it would die, but now that we know Brawl Stars is going global. I cannot believe my eyes I think I am going to cry I am just so thankful that Brawl Stars won't die <laughs> ah, Global! What? What? Oh my gosh, guys, this is crazy. I seriously don't even know what to say. And I've been trying to think of what to say at this moment for a while now. <laughs> Wait, you mean to tell me you knew it was going global and you didn't tell us? Dude, no way was I going to leak any information, man. I signed a freaking non-disclosure agreement. I don't want them to take away my, my dev build privileges. Otherwise, I can't tell you all of the cool things that are coming in the future updates. So you lied to us? Actually, almost everything that I said in my last couple of videos is completely true. Just, just one tiny little detail um, was left out, and that was that Lex and I were recently told that the game was going global. <laughs> you lied to us? <laughs> I'm sorry, noob time. I really am. Ryan wanted us to stoke the fire. He wanted to build up the hype and get people thinking that maybe there was a chance that Brawl Stars would get killed. I thought the game was gonna be killed. Yeah, even Ryan thought we may have taken it a little bit too far. You are really good at acting, Kairos. I know, noob time. I know. Okay, though, for real, guys, I think that most people that watched the last couple of my videos were able to figure out that it was kind of all a tactic to build up the hype for a global Brawl Stars release. I still can't believe I'm saying that on an actual uh, a video. Like, global! Brawl Stars is freaking going global! So awesome. But even so, everyone's comments, like, really, really got to me, okay? It really touched me, and I cannot tell you how truly bad I actually feel. If, I mean, for anybody that I made, like, panic or fear or afraid, like, if you felt negative emotions because you legitimately thought Brawl Stars was getting killed, I am sorry. I really am sorry. I know that it was not the nicest thing. Hopefully you can forgive me, especially because I did do it to really try and hype up this moment. People from all around the world are looking at Brawl Stars right now. Right now. And why are they doing that? Because you guys, you guys went and you spread the word across the world to your friends, across the Supercell communities, to Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, all of the big communities and things like that. You guys made everybody look at the Brawl Stars community and you made this the biggest Brawl Stars announcement ever. This hype is going to give Brawl Stars the explosive start that it needs to be one of the most successful mobile games Supercell has ever created. And I have got to thank you guys for that. You guys are truly epic. And seriously guys, I, I love you so much and I'm so thankful for all the support that you guys have shown me over the past couple of days. Okay guys, now let's talk about all of those insider details that you are curious about, okay? Starting off with some frequently asked questions. The first question is, where do I go to download Brawl Stars? Well, first of all, we do need to wait some time before the game is actually global. So they just teased it, they announced that Brawl Stars is going global, uh, but they didn't give us any time frames or anything like that. But what you can do is you can go pre-register to download Brawl Stars on your Android device, so you can get notified the very second that you can download it and actually play it live, which is awesome. I believe that you can do that on iOS as well, but I'm not sure if pre-registration is a thing on their app store. 
for yet. But no matter what, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because I will be giving you guys information the very second that I can give you any information at all. Next question is, will my account get reset? Okay, no, nobody's account is going to be reset. Uh, that's not a, actually like official Supercell word. Um, it's just not what they've done in the past and it really would not make sense for Supercell to do that. Okay, if they did that, it would actually create an extremely unfriendly early game for new players because everybody would be at the beginning and then the new players would be competing against the top players that are all competing at low levels and they would, they would just get annihilated. That's not fun for new players and it's also not fun for veteran players because then they have to completely rebuild up their accounts and things like that. So no, your account is not going to be uh, restarted or anything like that. Next question is, if I'm not in a beta country and I have been playing Brawl Stars, what will happen to my account, okay? You don't need to worry about Brawl or Supercell deleting your Brawl Stars account or anything like that. Um, they aren't planning on doing that. They've, they've wanted people to play the game, they just weren't ready for it to be re globally released. So I wouldn't worry anything about like that, but your account will stay intact as long as you link your Supercell ID to that account. I have made a video on this, so if you do have any questions on that, make sure you check that video. And once it is released globally, all you just really need to do is just go to your app store and update the game. You'll then be able to go into the game, check the leaderboard, and you'll see your country in the local section. Uh, additionally, if you're on Android, you'll then immediately be able to purchase gems with your regular method of payment. However, if you are on iOS, then you'll need to go to your Apple ID settings and change your country back over to your regular country rather than a beta country. This should work very well easily for you as long as you do not have iTunes credit on your account. If you do have iTunes credit on your account, you have to spend that somehow before you can switch it over. And I'm not the best way to get rid of that credit credit if you uh, if you aren't able to spend it somehow. Next question is, will there be a Brawl Stars update? Now, I do not have a, an official word on this or anything like this, but it has been a while since our last update. Um, I can only imagine that they have something pretty good. They've been working on some stuff for a long time. They've, I'm sure that a lot of the stuff that they've been doing since the last update has just been to like focus on getting ready for global. And I don't know what all that entails, but I'm, I, I'm at least hoping for some big stuff in the future um, when there's a global release. No, no information on if there's an update right now. Okay, guys, I, I seriously cannot talk. I, I'm, I can't even believe that I'm talking about this right now. Like it's, it has been. I'm really freaking out that the game is going global right now, or that it's being at least announced, okay? Because Lex and I have been talking about this like giddy little schoolgirls for so long. <laughs> I mean, like, oh, it feels so good to talk about this. Okay, so when, when we went to stream for the tournament for the, the global release um, in Finland, that was months ago, okay? That was, that was a long time ago. It was back in April, okay? There was, it was still cold in Finland, there was snow on the ground, it was, it was a long time ago, and even though they flew all of us over there, they were very convincing when they told us that they still did not know if Brawl Stars was going to be global, okay? Their goal was, hey, we don't know when we'll be ready, if we will be ready, and if we want to release it, we don't want to have to rush a stream or something like that. We wanted to have something prepared already out and ready to go, so we could actually like announce it, which is when, when we want to, rather than being on the schedule of a lot of other people. Additionally, they did, with Lex and I were not lying when we talked about them having a plan for killing the game, because that was also still a very real um, option. Also, that was really crazy to me, because they spent a lot of money on that, that uh, tournament production, and, I mean, like, for them to just say, hey, yeah, we're ready to just throw this all down the toilet if it doesn't go global. I was like, what? That's crazy. That's insane. Um, but, seriously, though, guys, I cannot tell you how hard it was for me to act like nothing was going on. It was so hard. Oh, man. There were a lot of uh, conversations that we actually had with Ryan that has, since then that had us fearful that Brawl Stars was going to be closed for real. Um, at one point, I'm pretty sure, if I remember right, there was one point where they had decided to kill Brawl Stars, which is no joke at all. But I did want to just say that because what ended up convincing them to actually release a global was the, the Brawl Stars dev team were so passionate about the game. They just said, hey, you know what? Yeah, this game, it's not, it, it didn't explode like Clash Royale did, but Clash Royale was kind of like a freak of nature. Like it just, it took everybody off guard and Supercell, and basically the developers were like, hey, it might not be quite that explosive, 
but this game is awesome and we can make it awesome so seriously though guys seriously guys i just want you to know how much how when i say that the brawl stars dev team is truly amazing they are super amazing they're rock stars and i am so thankful that they did not give up on the game and especially during the times when it looked like brawl stars was legitimately going to be killed and I know that you guys, and me too, I, I know that we kind of give them a hard time for like slow updates and things like that. Mind you, they've been focusing on preparing for a global launch, so I think that things in the past have been very different than they will be in the future. Um, but even then, we still give them a hard time for stuff. Really, they're, they're just amazing, and I just want you guys to really know that. Because without those amazing people, Brawl Stars would not be released right now. But most of the time, even though we were fearful for Brawl Stars for a little bit there, Lex and I have been so stoked and so excited and we've just been waiting and waiting and waiting. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. Seven months. It's been seven months since we were flown out to Flynn for that tournament. Oh my gosh, it's over. It's over. I'm so excited. I'm so excited, guys. And really, I wanted to sincerely thank you guys so much for all of your incredible support over not only the past couple of days, well, especially over the past couple of days, but over the past several months, my channel has been growing like crazy, and it's and I can't even imagine what's going to happen. Um, but over the past couple of days, guys, your responses, I know that I put up a good facade. I know that I, I, I know that I scared some of you guys, and I apologize for that. Um, but I, I really am touched by all of your guys' responses and how supportive you have been of my channel. It's no joke, no joke when I say that if Brawl Stars were killed, that I would quit doing YouTube. Um, my wife and I have actually really heavily discussed that topic a lot. I would probably have to start focusing on doing other things instead of YouTube. But now that Brawl Stars is going to be released, guys, I have some insanely huge announcements regarding my channel coming in the future, so please stick around for that. Like, the biggest channel announcement I have ever made, and that's crazy. So, more information on that later. Now, on top of all of that, guys, I really did want to just thank Lex as well. He has been such a great friend throughout all of this. I, some of you guys don't know um, that Lex and I are actually, like, really good friends. Like... Outside of Brawl Stars, like, we talk all the time. We talk about our real lives. We talk about the struggles of being parents. We've talk about, we talk about the hard times in our own lives. And, uh, and Lex has really been a really great friend, friend for me. We've actually known each other since before Brawl Stars was ever announced. Um, we were doing Clash of, or Clash Royale stuff a little bit. If I remember right, he was at like 200 subscribers. I was at like 2,000 subscribers. That seems like so long ago. It's so crazy. We've been really good friends for a really long time. And he, he's been there for some hard stuff for me. And I and I know that, that sounds a little sappy, but he's been the only person that I could talk about this with for a long time. And I just, I don't know how I could have kept this secret without him. I really don't. It's too big. It is too big. Seven months of waiting. Super, so why did you wait so long? Oh man, anyways guys, I seriously cannot thank you guys so much enough for all the support And I also wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors for all of the support uh, That they have shown on my channel and of course Every one of you guys that have subscribed and watched almost every video of mine I really could not do this without you guys. You guys are so fantastic. Thank you so much for now This is Kairos time ticking by and we will see you in the freaking global Brawl Stars release Yes! <laughs> it's on! <laughs> Frost Ice is going global!